Hello, hello everyone! Welcome back to Flotsami Banto! So, uh, we're gathering from the Long Island over here, and uh, today we're gonna do a few things that was suggested by you guys in the comments. It is to switch out some of our old, pretty pretty old stuff. So we are gonna be removing these small drying rack, and instead we're gonna replace them with some uh, standard drying racks, which can have more. And we'll probably take a little bit less of space, so I'm probably gonna um, transfer these two out, or these four out, to two normal ones. So that's gonna be pretty good for us. And we're also gonna be removing or changing around another few things, so we do have our small storage jars, so we're gonna be emptying them. So we can set it like none of those, and the same for this one. And then we're gonna build the bigger ones to get the bigger things that takes in total less space for the amount of things we can store in them. So for example, we can so we can switch them up to the storage yard. Or we can even go for the large storage yard, which uh, can have 120 items, which is a pretty, pretty insane amount. So that should be super awesome and useful. So that's some things we're going to be working with today. And we're going to be switching these drying racks out for these. Uh, these can have uh, pretty much a double amount of uh, things drying. As one of those, so that will replace two of those. And two together will take a little bit less space than four of those. So that's gonna be super duper useful. And I do think we might maybe do another of the solar stills. That's we can have a little bit of passive water generation. It doesn't look very good to have a lot of them, I would say. Uh, but uh, in survival, we probably, you know, wanna have more of them. Because that would decrease the amount of work that we have to do for either going to salvage them on landmarks or to craft them ourselves. So that can be pretty useful and I might do one over here, that should be pretty good place for one. So let's go there. And I feel with the game so far, you can pretty much mostly go around between landmarks and get whatever you need. I feel like it kind of works that way. Like as you see we're doing really good with food now, like way too silly good with it I would say. Because it's going up like crazy. Water is pretty stable. Even though we aren't really crafting here, it's still pretty sa stable because landmarks and also the solar stills. And going between landmarks can be like really really quick way to gather things. That's how I feel for now at least. Because we'll be into the lonely island and this one should be done very 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 soon. So we're just gonna have to wait for these then to distract those. So these drying racks are gone, let's replace them with some better ones. So these take a little bit of rope and a little bit of wood. So you see, that didn't take so much space, so we would have done a four those, that would be one here. Not around this area, another one around here, and then another one here. So a little bit tinier, less amount of space, and I do think we are gonna be good with that. Because, yes, like I said, when going to landmarks, it's often that you go and find dry wood. So you don't even have to dry it yourself. And I have changed it as well, so we only maintain 40 dry wood. So now, whenever we have more than that, we will not be wasting any time on uh, those things. And for now, I might even decrease a few more things. Yes, yeah, so we can gather from landmarks faster. So, decrease something like that. I do personally think that it would be kind of fun with this game if they would uh, do a thing. They might already have plans for it. But I would like if when you get further in the game somehow with some kind of progression system, that the further you get, the more picky people would be with getting like different kinds of foods. So for example, maybe when you get to a certain state in the game, people want to get sushi. Like they will eat fish, dried fish of course, and seaweed, but they want to have this one. And if they don't get that one, they will be unhappy, and unhappy people, maybe they get lazy and stuff like that, they don't want to work as much. So personally, I feel like that would be a nice progression system, not sure what you guys think. Let me know what you think, if you should have some more progression kind of in the game. I would be for improving boats, and maybe better tools, and perhaps uh, maybe get a ga gaining skills, so like, let's say for example Sushi Puddle here. She would be gaining a lot of skills from working with crafting, so she would become good in a profession. I feel like that could be pretty awesome. Just gonna wait for that one to be gone there, and uh, where I like to have my stuff mostly 
is to have them close to the boats because that means we, when we ever go out to the ocean, we can actually deliver our things really, really quickly. Just go out on the ocean, come home, deliver, go out again. Pretty much like that. Look at the amount of sushi we got there. That's some freaking huge sushi rolls. That's pretty insane. And we might be also switching this one out. We're gonna wait a little bit for that. I don't want to destroy all our storage at the same time. Uh, but we're probably gonna switch that one out later as well. And I guess we can actually replace these. Because just like we said here, we're not gonna need to dry as much. We can replace it with something else if we want to. Um, let's do that. Can, for example, we can have more storage. Um, I might maybe keep... Um, let's just destroy them. We can build new ones if we need them later. We're probably going to be quite fine with just having these two for now, but we might be adding more later on. But it's not really anything we need like to replace it with. It's only really storage, and having more storage here can actually be pretty good. Because, uh, like I said, we have our boats here, we're having a lot of production with food and collecting more fish and stuff like that, so it would probably be pretty good to have some more storage here. And we might not even build new storage there for now, maybe later, but maybe for now. We can instead move it over here, but I do see that we need to gather a little bit or more of metal scrap. So we can build more of the large storage yard. And since we're done around this area, we can probably move to the next place. As you can see, we are dropping a little bit of water, but it isn't dangerous. As long as you have quite a bit of water, it's, it should be fine. And it's pretty easy to get water when, when you get into the game. We just activate our desalinator again, and we should be pretty fine. So this one over here will have kind of the same thing as the Long Island. And the Long Island, it had some wood, and it also had some metal. So it could be worth going there. Also have a little bit of food. Abandoned motorboats. I do think this one will have metal and wood. I'm pretty sure that's what it got. Uh, but it looks like we've been over here. We've been to the leak and water tower. We haven't been to the shack town, looks like. Here we got the viaduct. Uh, have we been to that one? I don't see a flag. So maybe I haven't been there. Maybe not. Maybe actually. Let's go to a new biome again, guys. Let's do that. Okay, let's see what we got. We got Long Island, we got Shack Town, and we got Seaweed Covered in the Rocks. That's good. And we got the Viaduct, also have a Freshwater Oasis. So there we got some more water. Even more water. So that's pretty awesome. And that's why you don't really need to, like, craft your own water so much. So I'm gonna send over... Let's go for four boats. Okay, freeze the maximum. Three is gonna go to that one, and then we're gonna have maybe two going to this one. Yeah, it looks like we're gonna need some more spores soon, but we're really good on seaweed. We can both eat the seaweed, but we can also use it in uh, this one, our fishing hut, to catch uh, nibble fish. We get five every time, then we can use the seaweed once again inside of this one to get with nibble fish, and then we get some social roll five every time when we craft that. Uh, but this is gonna give us uh, some useful metal. I might want to maybe collect a little bit more plastic soon. I do think we're pretty good with it though. Maybe we can send one boat to go there. I might do some temporary storage yard over here. Yes, because we're not gonna get so much metal. It was kind of little in that one, but soon we will be getting more. And when we destruct, I do think we get back pretty much everything, right? So we do two of them there, then we can have a little bit more space, because as you can see, we are kind of running kind of low in space. It's going to go down pretty quick once we start gathering stuff. And one thing we could do, just to ensure we're not going to drop too low in water, would be to get another fresh water, uh, to get another desalinator. We don't have to have it activated all the time, but uh, whenever we might need to have it active, we can activate it. But even though we're dropping now, we are going to get some new water pretty, pretty soon. Uh, so this one has some more dry wood, and once again, that means we don't have to dry so much wood. We almost have a hundred in dry wood, which is pretty insane. Uh, let's uh, send out uh, some more boats to that one. I 
I'm also really looking forward to one of the upcoming buildings that have been shown on the Discord server. Um, our seagulls is gonna like get their own little house pretty much, and it looks like they're gonna be living many of them together in the same one. So it, it's sort of like a tower with sticks uh, pointing out from it. So the seagulls would be sitting on those and uh, sleep there, so that's pretty cool. Something I'm really looking forward to see. Okay, let's name one of my seagulls. I got some requests and uh, this one's gonna be Matthias. Welcome, our little seagull. And we do have another, a few girls to be named still, guys. So if you have a girl names, let me know. If you have a bird name, also let me know for Stephanus. Stephanus really, really want to get named in the game. <laughs> Actually, three girls, okay. We might be getting some more drifters soon. I kind of like that you're having more of them. I do feel like it's not too hard at this point to manage our food and water. And that's really the things for now that keeps us alive. And I'm really looking forward to seeing more things to challenge us in the future. So we're gonna get the weather system for the game. I decided on the roadmap. But I'm also hoping that maybe sometimes you will be challenged by maybe sharks or there will be other drifters like pirates that try to get to your place and steal stuff from you, stuff like that. I do think that could be pretty interesting. That would maybe even open up for new buildings. Maybe we can have sort of like walls to protect uh, our place and some towers. Maybe we can have some sort of protection to defend ourselves. I feel like that would be interesting, but we will see, I guess. Okay, we got everything from the seaweed, rocks, and a little bit more food in Shacktown. There we go, nice. I'm just gonna wait for the boat to return, and then we're gonna move out a little bit. Then we're gonna go to the next place. I upped my water, by the way, so... The thing with the game now is that if you have a limit for the water, even your solar steel that doesn't really require any work, they will also stop working. So what I did now is that I... Increase the limit to 80, that means we can get more water, uh, but also disable the queue here, and if I ever start to like drop a lot of water, then I will just enable this one again, which should be easy. So we should be ready to go now, let's um, move out, maybe let's see if we can build another storage first. Okay, we can do one, that's good. So let's do one uh, somewhere over here. Another thing we don't really need anymore, and like we can probably remove the fish kebab, we don't really need that. Like we're doing super good with food and we also have the food truck which you can both do sushi and uh, cook and fish. We don't really need that one either, so I might be... Might be removing that one, let's do that. And we don't even need the fish on sticks really, let's, let's remove that one as well. Okay, so let's see, where do we want to go now? The viaduct is probably the one I'm gonna head for. I definitely wanna go deer later, seagull nest, another one deer. That's gonna be four new birds, most likely. Have some more water, some more water, some more metal. So this is really awesome, and look at the amount of, insane amount of flotsam of plastic and wood. We don't really even need it, but it, it is there if we want it. So let's go something like that in between. We can collect from all of them at the same time. Will be a kind of long boat travel. Uh, but we can pretty much go to all of them at the same time, which is pretty awesome. If we go a little bit further, we might even be able to reach whatever we have over there. A lone island, okay, so we can take all of those. And look at the amount of things. If we needed that, that would be insane. Another thing I'm really looking for with this game is for the developers to add more landmarks to the game. Because that could be interesting, and maybe make them a little bit more random, so... When you come to, let's say... Not the seagull nest, but maybe even that one. But let's say we'll go to the freshwater oasis. That it would be a little bit random, so it wouldn't always like be the same amount of water in it. That can be different amounts. I'm sending two boats over to that one. We do have six, but only five salvage boats. Then we're gonna rescue... Stefanson and Steve. There we go, so two new seagulls to be named, guys. Just drop your names and I will glad you add you guys. So the Legion Tower has 30 water. So you see, we're gonna get a lot of water just doing it this way. So that's gonna go to 69 water. And then from the other one, we're gonna go up to like 94 in water. Just from gathering that. And no like real work, just travel over there and gather the stuff we need. So that's pretty awesome. 
We definitely want to go to the viaduct. This is the best place to gather metal. It has 40 metal scrap. It's pretty insane. I'm gonna put up to go for three boats to that one. And yeah, let's actually get some more boats, guys. Since we have so many people and we're not really crafting too many things anymore, maybe it's actually time to get a few more boats. Let's see if we can extend this and if we can have some more boats on this one. I might be changing around a little bit of things here. And uh, we do need to make a new mooring points before we, we remove them though. Uh, but let's make this one walkway go there. Then we might be able to have the mooring point over there. And uh, then I'm probably gonna extend the walkway over here. Or here. It depends. It, lo it looks kinda cool when they go in like that. To the town. Uh, but I think I will extend it over here. There's probably gonna be more storage here later so they can deliver things quickly. But let's see, can we make a mooring point over here? Okay, so not enough space there, but we might be able to squeeze in some storage or something like that. Yep, for sure. So let's just make like a temporary mooring point for now. I wonder what happens if I destroy this one when we had a boat next to it though. We don't really need a fishing boat though. I'm gonna remove the fishing boat. Let's do that, we don't, we don't re even really need it. And let's just destroy that one as well. Then we're gonna be able to have an, a lot bigger walkway with a lot more boats sitting on it. You know something that would be really cool as well? If we could make sort of like bridges over. So it would be like a bridge that would go like that. That will allow boats to go under it. And then you can have like uh, mooring points inside but it will go under the bridge and people can still walk over the bridge. That would be pretty awesome I would say. Okay, so let's make a little walkway over here. So, let's go all the way. 32, let's do that. So then we can do some more mooring points. We can have one here. Another one right next to it. And we can even have it at the back side if we want to, but I don't think so. It's very laggy now. Sometimes when you get these lags, I notice that if you just move your boat a tiny, 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 tiny bit, it actually removes the lag. So if it happens to you guys, give that a try. I'm gonna give it a try now. Let's move it just a tiny, tiny bit. So what we can actually do here, I guess, if we remove that one, maybe. If we remove those, we might be able to sort of make it curved as well. Then we can squeeze in maybe a few more boring points. That will be at this side instead. Or we will have them over here if we continue building some walkway. So it would go something like that. But wouldn't it be awesome to, if it was a, like a bridge over here, and then you can go under it like that into this one. That would be really, really cool. Oh, maybe we can... Let's see, can we make a walk with her? That's nice. Just an, a nice path to be able to get around a bit better, which I personally think is really awesome to be able to do. Okay, let's see for the mooring points. Uh, we should make some more boats, that's for sure. So that is eight salvaging boats. I don't think we're gonna need more than that. You can always have more, of course, but I don't think we're gonna need more than that. And then in here, if you want, we can have a freaking huge storage yard. And I guess this one is actually gonna go away since we built that in, so we're gonna lose one boat here. I do think, however, though, if I would, like, remove the middle, if I would build from here, Stop here, then we'll build from here, stop here. I've seen your people before, like, they jump in the water and then just go up again. That way boats can actually go in between if you want to. Uh, but we can make a storage yard here, so when that is gone here, we can make a new storage yard. We are pretty good in space though, so nothing really is super important, but it's gonna be nice to have. Okay, so there we go. 
it might actually be better to put them like that instead of like this. Because if we put them like this here, then I can squeeze in at least another one here. So let's do one here. This can have 120 items. And when I moved my boat a tiny bit, like I said before, and the kind of random stutter lag, it kind of disappeared. But we need more metal now. So let's look around. We had a lonely island. I don't think I can reach it now. I moved our chip a little, little bit. So let's see. It is just at the edge. Yeah, we can't really go to that one. We still have a uh, Morty Viaduct there. So I guess we should collect that first. Before we keep moving on to the next place. Okay, sending three boats over. We're only gonna need two, really, but we're sending three over. And I'm not entirely sure, but it feels like one of the FPS lags that happens sometimes is due to when you go to the viaduct. I've seen it quite a few times. Um, but also this area, as I said before, it has a huge amount of flotsam over everywhere, really. <laughs> and that probably creates a little bit of lag. But the game is only in like alpha 0.3, so a lot of things is gonna get improved over time. And if you want to be part of it, you should definitely head over to their Discord channel where you can suggest things, report bugs uh, to help improve the game. So I highly recommend that. I will be posting a link to join their Discord channel in the comments below, so you guys can join it. A really, really friendly developers. I really liked my great community. But let's get what we got over there. Then after that, it's time to move on to closer to the lonely island. One thing I have wondered about is that if your boat's outside like this and we would decide now to travel kind of far away, would we get the resources or would we lose the resources? My guess is that we would lose the resources or it would just be teleported to our stockpile through some sort of uh, ocean magic, I guess. But you're soon home, so we're gonna travel very, very soon. Okay, now we got a little bit more metal. Do we have beds for everyone? Okay, we actually need some more beds. Okay. Our kind of residential area at this zone, so I think we should uh, continue adding some more. I don't think like it would be very nice to live next to this one. <laughs> Whenever the boat is gonna come, it's gonna flash up water next to that house. Um, let's see here. Oh, here is a pretty good spot. Let's go here. This is gonna be a kind of our like residential area. It's gonna be nice. Uh, but let's go towards uh, the Lone Island, not a definitive viaduct over there. There's another one over there, though. And we also have the seagulls there. Um, I'm gonna do like a quick... Oh, more seagulls. Okay, let's just go... Something like that. Look at the amount of fish there that's there. I'm not gonna catch it, though, because we don't really need any more fish. Then we have a shack down there, that's good, that has a lot of wood, if I remember. Okay, so let's see what we got here. So this one we're gonna go to, Barney the Ruderier. So let me know guys if you have a name for the game, and you can name this guy. And some more seagulls, Stefan and Stefan. Okay, after that I don't think we're gonna get too many more people in a while, because we're getting so many. I feel like we have a pretty good... Um, Good a big crew for now, but we're gonna make some more houses there. It's gonna be two more spots, but we're gonna need one more after that. And it's good to do these houses because they, they will actually sleep faster in this one, so they don't need to rest as long compared to this one. And definitely, I guess when you're sleeping on the walkway, that's gonna make them sleep the longest. But guys, this is gonna be it for today with Flotsam. Hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. We're gonna keep improving our town a little bit, but it's getting... It's getting pretty good. We are able to collect a lot of things from the landmarks and we're gonna keep improving things. But guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, feel free to leave a like. Name, leave name suggestions for our birds and our people. And also do a live stream over on Twitch every Wednesday and Friday, 6 p.m. Central European Summertime. So maybe I'll see you guys over there. If not, uh, hope to see you guys in the next video. So thanks for watching. Have a great, great rest of the day, everybody.